Let's have a look at the cam, 2.2. It says here, it is given to you the bottom left zero. There it is, of the cam, the starting point of the cam displacement diagram on the answer sheet has been given to you. And then there's the motions which we are going to be looking at in a while. But the instruction here is that you have to draw only the displacement diagram um, and there is a scale of 360 equals 180 so what I'm going to suggest from there you draw a horizontal axis and you draw a vertical axis there uh, let me draw it a little bit darker so that we can clearly see what's going on there and then they say the scale here is and it's very important that you print it down here I like to do it between two uh, five millimeter lines is that I'm going to say uh, cam this placement graph right there it is and I'm going to write the scale here and the scale is 360 degrees equals 180 millimeters and that's basically our scale that we see there okay very important now you know for a fact that there will be 12 spaces in our cam displacement diagram so what you need to do is you need to take the 180 millimeters on here and you're going to find the 180 millimeters would be right there and inside that there would be 12 spaces so we need to say 180 divided by 12 and it's going to leave us with 15 so you're going to measure 15 millimeters there and I I'm going to take my compass and I open my compass at 15 there and then I'm going to just cut it off 12 times okay and once I've done the 12 times I'm going to draw my lines up and I will find that my maximum height of my displacement is 80 so I'm going to measure off 80 here as well so 80 is going to be there that's going to be my maximum and I can pick it up here what my maximum is by just reading through this and it will tell me what the maximum would be if you do, if they don't tell you what the the maximum is you need to work it out you need to say it rises by 15 and it rises by 65 to its maximum then you know the 16 the 15 plus 65 gives us 80 and then it drops so you know those two together gives us 80 so let's do that quickly by drawing all the lines vertically measuring and drawing all the lines vertically in a box format so there we have uh, constructed the cam displacement graph in a box format 12 spaces the height being 80 um, that height there from there to there being 80 okay now we need to go through the motions now and the first bullet says the follower rises with uniform now uniform underline uniform means a straight line for 15 millimeters over the first 30 so let us label this first 30 that's zero um, I'm going to put in my labels quickly they are my labels for the first 30 the follower rises by 15 so you're going to go to the first 30 by 15 so there I measure up directly 15 and then I draw my solid line right there first bullet done then there is a dwell period for the next 15 for the next 15 so this is 30 so 15 is half of that so you have to measure seven and a half here so there's seven and a half and then you're going to draw a line there and you know for only 15 of 
degrees that is going to dwell there and then the follower rises with simple harmonic to a motion for 65 over the next 135 to the maximum displacement of 80 so it rises and you need to find now it's going to rise until 135 now 135 is going to be in between 120 and 150 precisely in the half so you have to measure that's seven and a half here that's 135 exactly so that is where that follower will end up after it has risen through the simple harmonic motion okay so from there it's going to go and jump till there through the simple harmonic motion now as you know with simple harmonic you need to find the half of this space where we at at the moment so let's use this line here as our construction line where we start so we are here at the moment so that space is 65 okay so you're gonna say half of 65 is going to be 32 and a half so you've got to go 32 and a half is going to be there and I'm going to take my compass and open it up there and then I'm going to swing that there All right this is where I'm at then I'm going to draw a line directly till my 135 line and then I'm going to use my divisions again here and my divisions there creating six six ample spacings my construction then I'm going to draw my lines across to create my six spacings there there we go and the last one there so now if I count one two three four five six one two three four five six so if you have six horizontal spacing you should have six from here six vertical spacings as well there's one so I'm going to divide this into half and that into half which is basically seven and a half in each to create my six there's seven and a half and there's my seven and a half and now I create my six spaces like that there All right so I have now we this is where I'm at one two three four five six one two three four five six and now I can plot a point this is where I'm at I'm gonna plot it here plot it there plot it there plot there plot there plot there and you're gonna find that you're going to be doing something like this and I can go over the dark like that there. there's my simple harmonic then it says further the there is a dwell period for the next 90 now you are at 15 15 plus 30 that's 45 and then you go another 30 so it's going to be halfway <clears throat> so you've got to measure another seven and a half here to get to the next point so once again 30 plus 30 plus 15 and 15 that gives us 90 so that dwell period is still there now very importantly the follower then returns with uniform acceleration and retardation to its original positions over the rest of the rotation so from there it's going to drop down to here with acceleration and retardation so what you need to create you need to draw a faint line across here start with a faint line like that and you need to have half of this right this is the box that you're going to be working in but because there's an halfway there these spaces might not normally coincide with the odd one there so I would suggest that you erase these lines 
right? And just keep this box. Let's do that quickly. So there I've erased those lines. And why did I erase? Because we have an odd one here and we need to ensure that there are six spaces here. And that's one, two, three, four and a, and a half. So it's not actually going to work out. In most cases, these will be six or there will be three which you have to half to get a perfect six. Six on six. And in this year, which is now 80, we have to find the middle. So that's 80, so the middle is 40. And I'm going to draw a line and mark it right there where it crosses with that. When I see that there, I'm going to draw my, my middle line there now. Now I've divided this space here and I've divided that space here. Right? That space now and that space, they are equal. So in this space, I've got to create three and I've got to create three here. And in this space here, I'm going to create six as well. So let's do that. So let's do the, the first one, which is the vertical one. In this space down here, there must be three spaces and then three spaces to make up six. So when I measure that, that's going to be 40. And then I'm going to say on my calculator, 40 divided by 3, and that's going to give us 13.3. So I'm going to make it 13. That's going to be my 13 there. And my 13 would be right there. And then I'm going to go 13 here. So that's going to be my 13 there. And that's going to be my 13 right there. So that's in the middle. I created my points. Right? Those are my points there. And I leave those points right there. Then I'm going to take this here. That distance here is going to be um, 60, say 68. So I'm going to say 68 divided by 6. And that's going to give me 11. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 11 and another 11 there. Right? There's my 11. And then from this side I'm going to measure 11 and another 11 there. So now I'm going to draw my new lines. So let me do that in a slightly different color here so that you can see there. There's my 111 line. Here's my other 11 line. Right, so now I have with the middle one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now all I do next is to take, this line is already drawn, I'm going to take a line from here to there, and I'm going to draw a line from here to there, and the same thing here, draw a line from there to there, draw a line from there to there. And now I'm going to plot it. That's my first point on that line and on this one is my second point. From here, my first point and my second point. My middle point is there already. And then I'm going to use my pencil to draw a faint arc first. Still there. And once I have it, I'm going to darken that arc right like that, dropping down in simple, or what I call in uniform acceleration and retardation motion, to the starting position. And that's basically your, your cam displacement diagram in terms of uniform, then a, then a dwell period, and then a simple harmonic with this construction, then it dwells, and then you have your six along that side and your six from the middle, three on top, three at the bottom, your straight line, your lines going to each of the three, two points here and two points there, and the plots of those coordinates here and coordinates there. This was this one you need to practice. To practice, practice to ensure that you can get that construction right. Okay. Enjoy. <laughs>